So this is session five. And today's parable tells the story of a king who prepared a feast for the wedding of his son. And he invited the guests to attend. Now, back in those days, there wasn't a set time. But when the feast was prepared, the servant sent out his, sorry, the king sent out his servants to tell the invited guests that the feast was ready. But all the invited guests said they had other things to do. The king was pretty mad about that. So he said to his servants, go out and just invite everyone you see. And the people came and it appeared that not only was the king generous in giving a free feast to all these people, but he also gave everyone a beautiful festival robe to wear to the wedding. Because in this way, everybody would be on the same footing. Poor people wouldn't feel ashamed of their shabby clothing and wealthy people wouldn't feel superior. However, when the king came into the feast, he saw there was one man there who wasn't wearing the wedding garment. When he asked the man, how did you get in here without the wedding garment? And the man was speechless, it says. There simply was no answer. The result was that the king had him thrown out. Now that seems like rather harsh treatment, but of course the point is much deeper than just wearing the wrong clothes. This man had accepted the king's kind invitation, but he scorned the provision of the king. This was an insult to the king and it was also a display of arrogance. Of course, the parable is a picture of the kingdom of God and it's often pictured in terms of a wedding feast. God invites his people. The reference here to the invited guests are to the Jewish people who refused to recognize who Jesus was. And so they refused the invitation. And so the invitation went out to everybody, all and sundry, no matter who they were. So what is it with the man who didn't wear the provided garment? Obviously, he thought his own clothes were good enough. Possibly thought it a bit beneath him to wear something that was provided for him. But the pictures of the kingdom of God and no one can enter the kingdom thinking that their best is good enough for God. Isaiah 64, 6 says, all our righteousnesses are like a polluted garment. Only Jesus was good enough. And the awesome news is that he gives us the right to be with him at this feast. If we join him now, we can be with him at the feast. And it's like he gives us a robe to wear and the robe is his righteousness. Because when we come to Jesus, we become a part of his body and we wear the righteousness of Jesus. That's how the Father sees us, which is pretty awesome. And that's the only way that we can get to be a part of the kingdom feast. Again, in Isaiah 61.10, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exalt my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland. We can only enter the kingdom wearing the righteousness of Jesus. It's not earned by us, but it's given and it's a pure and gracious gift.